Duncan in Lubbock, Texas. I'm the founder of Find Your Focus Photographic Education, and today we're going to take a quick look at Viveza 2 on a quick way to enhance your landscape images. This image is of El Capitan from the Yosemite Valley floor. It's hard to believe in this image, but that's about a 3,000 foot granite rock right there. So there's just no way to capture the enormity and the majestic majesty and scale of that place without visiting it. So anyway, I'm here in Viveza 2 by Nick Software. If you're not familiar with Nick Software, they're a great sponsor of Find Your Focus and a friend of the photography industry. And their slogan is, of course, photography first. They're all about photography. And today we're working in Viveza 2. It's their program for selective color and light and contrast control. When I mean selective, I mean no use of layer mask, brushing, anything complicated like that. So, we're just going to get right, right into it. And the way we work with Viveza is we have the ability to do selective controls and global controls. And I kind of look at it as let's start globally and then let's work our way down fine-tune. So I think this image right here, exposure is pretty good. I don't see a whole lot of stuff with it. But let me just go over the controls really fast. Uh, our global controls are brightness, contrast, saturation, structure. Um, what structure is, is it's going to add detail to the image. It's not sharpening, but it's detail. It pulls out the data in between pixel edges. That's maybe the technical, but that's what it is. It's, it's detail in the image. Shadow adjustment, open up shadows, warmth, and then we have our color controls, red, green, and blue. So first of all, we're going to start globally. Is I'm going to bring the brightness up a little bit, and then we're going to tone that down with selective controls. Anytime I do the brightness, I always want to do contrast. And these, these things, these uh, options here, our controls, are listed in order we want to use them. You don't want to start from the bottom up. You want to start from the top down. So then I can add a little bit of contrast in here. Definitely think it needs a little bit of saturation. And to me, the image is maybe a little green, um, too. So we're going to fix that. Structure. This is one of my favorite sliders. Look at the detail coming out as I raise this structure up. And with control points, we can alter that anymore. So I'm really going to bring the structure up high because I want to get all the detail out of that rock. That looks good there. Okay. Uh, shadow adjustments. I can open up my shadows just a little bit. This just selects the shadows. Oh, that's too much. Sorry there. Slider went a little bit crazy. Bring that down just a bit. A hint of warmth. Like I said, I thought it was a little green, so I'm going to take the green down just a bit. A little. There we go. That looks better. You can see the difference. Let me go to our split view. Just right there, just globally, we can see just the difference we made just enhancing this image a little bit. Look how that really brought out the green in that sky with that slider. Really quick and easy to do this. Now we get into the best part of a vase, and that's a selective control. So I'm going to add a control point first. I'm going to add it on this mountain here. Okay, and I'm going to bring the structure up just to that a little bit more. Oh, yeah, right there. Contrast. And then I think I can bring the tonality of that mountain just down just a little bit. It looks a little more natural. Okay, another good way if that, see now that looks a little kind of monochromatic. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of warmth back into that mountain. There we go. A little bit of warmth and pull some of that green out. It's not, or a little, add a touch of green backwards, not so magenta. There we go, right there. Okay. I'm going to add another control point on this grass up here. I want to darken this foreground grass. I'm just going to bring the brightness down on that foreground grass just a little bit. It's probably too much. Right there. And then in these trees, this, I just want to deal with the shadow. I just want to bring the shadows out of those trees just a little bit. And then put contrast back in there. Okay. And finally, I'm going to go to the sky. I'm going to take the brightness down on that sky. Always add contrast to your skies. Just want to watch for little ghosting uh, artifacts around the clouds. And so that's why I just added another control point there to hit that. But I want to show you how precise these control points are. Like here on the mountain, I'm going to select this one. It's highlighted on the right side. I hit this little button here. It shows the mask. That's just the area being affected. 
can't get that kind of detail with the layer mask around those trees. Are you kidding me? So that's what makes Vavesa so great. So there, here's our here's our starting image. Here's all we finish with. Really quick and easy, and nice way to selectively adjust your images and create uh, the effect that you want to do. So again, this is Chris Duncan, founder of Find Your Focus. We're using Paveza 2 by Nick Software to enhance your landscape images. Visit Nick Software at nicksoftware.com. You can download a free trial of Aveza, and if you want to purchase, you save 15% by using promo code CJDuncan. Thanks so much.